Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video. Um, whatever version of Windows 10 you upgrade to, so if you upgraded to Windows 10 October 2018 update. And if you uh, of course upgrade uh, eventually or if you have already upgraded to the May 2019 update. One of the things that's very very important also to check out because some people are reporting that that resets to defaults is delivery optimization. What is that? Well, your Windows operating system downloads off the internet. So when you actually have a new feature update, that download comes through. Now your PC becomes a hub of sharing that version of Windows. It could be shared only on your network between your computers, or it could be shared on the internet with others. Now if you have limited bandwidth, you want it to be shared on your network with your own computers, but you might not want it to be shared over the internet with others. Where do you check that? Simply go into your settings, go into the update and security, and go into delivery optimization. Here you'll have two settings. One is PCs on my local network, and you'll have PCs on my local network and PCs on the internet. That means your computer now shares the little the bits or the data of that Windows feature update with people over the internet. The reason why this exists is simple. It actually lowers the strain on Microsoft's own server. And if you don't mind and if you have a fast and unlimited internet, it might not be a problem if you want to share it over the internet because it will often make downloads faster for pretty much everybody. Um, it's like sharing um, over a torrent, basically. Now, if you have limited internet access, if you have limited data, you might not want to share this with others on the internet. You might want to share it just local network. Now, I'll tell you one thing. If you have more than one PC running Windows 10, um, I would actually recommend that you keep the allowed downloads of from other PCs on but just put PCs on your local network. Why? Because if you turn this off and you have more than one Windows 10 PC, what's going to happen is that every PC you have will download its own copy of Windows 10. That means if you have three PCs upgrading for the May 2019 update, if this is off, you'll have three times the download on your network. So say it's a four gigabyte download, well you'll have 12 gigabytes because three PCs downloaded the bits for that um, main 2019 update. So I always recommend to keep it on, but just keep it to PCs on your local network. That means all the PCs in your home that are upgrading to a new version will actually download less from the internet. So instead of having three times the download for the main 2019 update, for example, you might have it only once or maybe half of what it would be. So uh, that's why sharing through your local network is actually a good idea within Windows 10. So I recommend to keep it on. And if you don't have any other PCs, if you've got only one machine, well, you can turn it off. And that means that your PC will download what it has to download, but will not share it with anyone. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.